Uh, Senator, you have three statements. Yes, you I can take, three take them at a go. Mr. Blade. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise pursuant to Standing Order 531 to seek a statement from the Standing Committee on Finance and Budget regarding bailouts and debt waivers by government to various entities, including parastatals and other sagas, cooperative societies, companies, and the like. In the statement, the committee should, one, provide a comprehensive report on all debt waivers and bailouts by government to those entities since the coming into effect of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, explaining the criteria used and clarifying whether each debt, each debt waiver and bailout conformed to the principles of public finance as stipulated in Article 201 of the Constitution. Two, explain the collective impact of the debt waivers and bailouts on the, pu on the public debt portfolio. Three, outline actions taken by the government to hold to account individuals responsible for the mismanagement of the affected entities and mismanagement of the affected entities that necessitated the debt waivers and bailouts, stating whether they addressed the loss as envisioned by Article 226, Clause 5 of the Constitution. Explain the specific measures the government has put in place to promote good financial management practices within public entities and those other entities that were bailed out. And finally, recommend the best practices the government can apply in assessing whether to grant debt to grant debt waivers and bailouts to public entities and others mr speaker sir my second statement i rise pursuant to standing order 531 to seek a statement from the standing committee on education regarding the implementation of junior secondary school curriculum for children with special needs. In the statement, the committee should address the following. Explain the criteria used for admitting children with special needs into junior secondary schools, providing details of the children with the special needs who sat for the Kenya Intermediate Level Education Assessment, KILEA, and the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment, KEPSEA. State the number of teachers who are trained and employed specifically for the children with special needs in junior secondary school countrywide. Provide a report of the learning resources, including electronic and non-electronic teaching and learning materials, such as textbooks, that were evaluated, vetted, and approved for use by learners with special needs, as well as the programs and the curriculum, curriculum support materials developed and re reviewed to meet the standards of children with special needs. And finally, number four, outline any other measures put in place by the ministry to ensure learners with special needs are facilitated to attend junior secondary schools. Mr. Speaker, sir, my final statement, third and final, I rise pursuant to Standing Order 531 to seek a statement from the Standing Committee on Education, on education regarding the full implementation of the basic education curriculum framework, BECF. In the statement, the committee should, one, State the level of operations, operationalization of the Education Quality Assurance and Standards Council, ESQAC, as provided for in the Basic Education Act, 
detailing its current standing and staffing and financing levels and two state strategies in place to fully operationalize and strengthen the board of management BOM of the council and extend its tenure to a period of five years. Mr. Speaker, sir, th that's, those are my three statements. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Senator. Senator Professor Tom Ojenda.